So Osmond Demandi is rumored to going to be making his move to the EPO in this transfer market. Well, it is soon. Is he going to live up to the legend's names like John Terry or Rio Ferdinand? Or is he going to be even as good as the modern day Virgil van Dijk? Today, we're making a technical assessment of the Ivorian International's game. So the Ivorian's defensive work rate is impeccable. You see him, he's all over the field uh, in either flank, usually moving any way that the ball needs to and is very responsive and reactive. Also, his trademark challenge is usually a one-step touch and he usually turns defense into offense, like his passes are mostly forward even coming out of a defensive position. Diomande also uses his strength and speed to great effect. Whenever he comes up against, let's say, faster but small strikers, you see him contend with them for speed to get to the ball first. And when he actually goes against even slower, bigger strikers, he still is able to use his strength to hold up and shield or even muscle them off the ball. So I'd say Diomandi is that combination of attributes where you'd really need uh, an exceptional striker with both strength and speed if they were to contend. In the APL current, I'd say maybe strikers like Aland would be the ones who'd be able to give him a run for his money. I think you can see in the current clip there is tenacity, riding two tackles. The next one stretching out, stabbing the ball, they're bringing a ball under control. The Ivorian prefers using his legs, but he's also able to use his head from time to time to clear. He's also right-footed, and as you see, he likes usually to stay in his position. He doesn't usually drift a lot, but sometimes you will find him moving up with the midfield depending on the configuration of the team. Uh, you find him also playing sometimes a bit wide, like as he's been doing with Sporting in Portugal. There again, as you see him, he's on the right flank, uh, holding, defending, possessing the ball. I mean, he's overly impressive. Even his tackles, he comes through, makes tackles, uses his body, shields it well. He's generally a high IQ defender. I think in terms of decision making, when to go for the ball and to be in the right place at the right time, he does rank up there with the likes of Virgil. I wouldn't expect him to fulfill a role like Trent, for instance, as an inverted fullback at any point. He's just best is rotated in a fixed position. Though he does have pace, I would more have him move into the midfield. I'm also very impressed with his defensive actions, especially in precarious positions like in the penalty box. He makes those clean challenges, those single challenges, and for the most part, decisions go with him, as you can see with his high, with his very low penalty concession rate. He does move there, he shoots the ball, he knows where it is, he isn't reckless at all. He seems to know exactly what sort of challenge to make. Whether to hit the ball, to make a tackle, is clean and incisive. Is that sort of mature player you want in a high tempo, high stakes game where you have strikers who are making a lot of attempts and runs into the midfield? He knows when to tackle or he knows where to be to make a clearance. I think being relatively a young player, now that he's even been drafted into their national team and the leagues that are headhunting him, I believe he's got what it takes to actually cement himself. Look at the, the composure, turning back and clearing his lines. I think that's the most admirable thing about him. He doesn't lose it, he's just the little dribble, one, two, he moves out. He dispossesses strikers and he clears his lines with ease, as if he's, he's playing in amateur spaces, really. Well, in terms of his transition to attack, I think he's shown a few sparks here and there when he gets the ball, like in that case. He makes those little passes, he has those little deft touches, and I believe there's actually a lot more creativity to him. Maybe it's the role he's traditionally given where he's expected to be disciplined and stay in position. But I don't know, maybe with the flair that you find that's with the Arsenal, he might be given more role. I see him being maybe one who's able to progress from a more central positions, linking up with the likes of Odegaard and Saka there. I believe a move to Arsenal would be a really great thing. I would have loved to see him maybe even play for Man U. I think he comes with that uh, intuition, that stability at the same time. We'll see how it works out if Arsenal do manage to complete his his move. I think if you do look at the stats, they point they don't really emphasize on Diomande's ability to long pass. Though when you do watch games and you do look for this content, you do find that 
he does he is able to build from the back and make those long switches of play like you see in that clip he could improve on his accuracy though when you do see when he does have time on the ball he's able to make those passes actually defense splitting passes and actually create opportunities he has a great technique body posture he moves there he's got that stability and he's able to move like if you see in that item he actually comes from a defensive position and they beat the press in that clip again there actually creates an opportunity I believe uh, with practice he could actually have those depth changing items. He also makes his passes on the ground and the ones on the ground seem to have a lot more accuracy. Also building on his confidence to be able to stay on the ball and move. In terms of possession like we've already mentioned, the Ivorian is very confident on the ball. He's able to just make those passes. He's not a player who's really pressed like you see plays really high up voting are very comfortable with that because as the numbers will show he doesn't lose out much he's just cool even when he's pressed by strikers he makes the decisions that are good even in times where he does make a big pass that would be the little criticism i do have of him he's a bit overconfident at times but most of the time he isn't caught out see there like as you see in this game he's comfortable plays those little passes and the team actually progresses he even comes up and in this position you see from this clip he actually makes one of those intelligent passes that actually do turn into a goal so overall position whether in high tempo games or in low tempo games as other footage has shown before this it is previous engagements he doesn't lose the ball he keeps the ball. He even recovers the ball. Cool, calm and composed. I think his link-up play for a defender in general will summarize it as he's clinical when he needs to be, when he has to move high up, he can assist in building up, creating opportunities. For the most part, he's a utility built-up player. The Ivorian defender isn't afraid to put his head where it hurts. He jumps up there and is able to make challenges for the ball regardless of the opposition he's against. His technique is commendable. Inside the box, makes clean jumps on his own, doesn't infringe on people, draws very little fouls. The eye test actually shows that Diomandi takes a lot more risk in making the clearances, like using his head, going down low when he needs to, and sometimes actually getting decisions from the referee. I also have to cite his positional awareness for set pieces. He's in the right space, even crosses, he deals with those, with those little flick headers is the first line. Sometimes we miss some headers in play, but for the most part he gets to them. It's not rare to see him actually use his head even in the middle of the park or in open play. Though for the most part, like footage shows, he mostly uses his head in the penalty box for clearances and set pieces. I don't think the stats do justice to Diomandi's heading ability in attack roles. His technique is great, and when he scores, he scores those beauties. So overall, I think the young Ivorian is what it takes to play at the international level for his country, maybe win a couple of trophies. He certainly is Champions League level and I hope to see him in the EPL soon. Till next time, New On Sports, I'm out.